ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਰੀਡਰ 3A 2020 ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਸਨ 22 ਵਿੱਚ ਤਨ ਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਲੈਸਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਪਰਟੀਕੂਲਰ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਕੱਗਾ ਲੈਟਰ ਦੀ ਕੱਗਾ ਯੂ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਵੀ ਲਰਨਡ ਬਟ ਕੱਗਾ ਥੈਟ ਕੱਗਾ ਮੇਕਸ ਟੂ ਸਾਊਂਡਸ ਇਫ ਇਟ ਕਮਸ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਬਿਗਿਨਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਅ ਵਰਡ ਇਟ ਮੇਕਸ ਅ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਕ ਕ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਇਟ ਕਮਸ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਮਿਡਲ ਔਰ ਐਂਡ ਆਫ ਅ ਵਰਡ ਇਟ ਮੇਕਸ ਅ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਗ right with a little a uh in there so that's what we are going to do it's a short story it's only 73 words and there's lots of kagga words in it and that's going to give you practice and reading theek hai but before we read the story here are some difficult words that you may or may not know what they mean you may or may not know how to read them so let's go ahead and practice them pangude vich see there's a kagga here pangude vich in crib kutt ke pressed tightly like hugged tightly chhati naal laya held close to chest chhati's chest chup ho gaya became quiet ghar wala husband ghar wali wife khang cough bagel that's a proper name bagel usnu him is a pronoun cook deep sleep sang throat rhyming word kang and sang throat uchi loud or high after we read this story you are going to circle all the kagga words in it theek hai what will that do for you you will read the story again you will look at the words again and it's going to give you more practice in identifying the sound and the letter in the word theek hai okay now listen to me first and then you will read it yourself kagge pind de ik ghar vich bagel singh renda si you understood right in a house in kagga pind village a man named bagel singh lived there us naal us de ghar wali kuri vi rendi si kuri is a name his wife also lived with him onna da chhota bachcha kolu vi renda si okay what's the child's name kolu what kind of child is he vadda aur chhota chhota bachcha ek din kolu uchi uchi sang paad ke ro reya si so he was screaming at on crying on top of his um voice ronde ronde kolu nu bahut khang aayi so in punjabi we many times speak the one word same twice like uchi uchi ronde ronde pajde pajde right jande jande khande khande this is a style punjabi style maa ne kolu nu chukya kutt ke chhati naal laya kolu chup ho gaya ਮਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਪੰਗੂੜੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਕੋਲੂ ਛੇਤੀ ਹੀ ਕੂਕ ਸੌ ਗਿਆ he felt comforted and he fell asleep so this is a pungura this is how pungura used to be in punjab in india okay you probably haven't seen that okay so now after we hang up after the video is over you will read this story again and you will circle all the kagga words in it now i'm going to teach you figurative language that's a repeated words which i already mentioned to you that we repeat same words sometimes to make an impact sometimes we use special or two of the same words to emphasize an action or a feeling what do these underlined words mean first two are done for you sang paad ke ro reya si so sang paad ke means crying out loud screaming this actually means that he was ripping his throat which actually he wasn't doing but is a figurative language right sang paad ke ro reya si tusi kadi sang paad ke royo kado ronde ronde us nu bahut khang aayi ronde ronde means while crying khang khang ke us da gala dard ho gaya what do you mean khang khang means while coughing right ro ro ke us diya akhan sujh gayan what does it mean ro ro ke while crying right while weeping good now 
here is the comprehension question. So read the question and one of the answers is correct. Go ahead and circle that answer. Here you have to write the answers in Punjabi. Read the questions and write the answers. This is your classwork. Now for homework, read the questions, write the answers. Should be easy. The questions are written in Punjabi and English. Make sure you read both English and Punjabi. On Tuesday, you're going to read these words. Remember, we learned their meanings, and here are the meanings. Make sure you connect them uh, with the lines pagude, which means in crib, right? This is going to give you practice in reading. Also, you will learn vocabulary. On Wednesday, you're going to learn some new number words. Okay, these number words are ikati. Bati, Teti, Chonti, Penti, Chati, Senti, Atati, Untali, Chali. Now there's Bindi here. Some people say Chali, some people say Chali. You say whatever you feels right to you. Take it. Now do you notice these numbers? You've been learning them. So here's that three and one, that's a Gurmukhi numbers, take it? So here, you will write them on Wednesday, four times each, ikatti, ikatti, word and number both, take it? On Thursday, you start a timer and you read this story again. How many minutes did you take? Remember, there's only 73 words. I don't think you will take more than two or three words. Let's see how many you take. And then you show your teacher next time how many minutes you take. And that is our lesson for today. Hope it wasn't too hard for you. Keep reading again and again so that you can become an excellent reader. I will see you next time. Until then, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.